I love the kind of symbolism. I love that it's an eye, because, you know, I don't know if you know this, but I'm blind. <coughs> Hello and welcome to my beautiful condo that I am so in love with. I am so happy. I literally feel like, you know when women who've given birth or, you know, anybody who's given birth talks about how they forget the pain and that's how they can have another child. I feel like that's me with this renovation. I'm like the year and a half of hell I went through disappeared once I moved in. I'm like, I'm so in love. It's the best decision I ever made. I wanna do it all over again. Um, so yeah, I'm obsessed and I've had so much fun decorating this place. You guys know me, your girl loves home decor. I love designing a space. I enjoyed every moment of picking tile and wood and tambour and the color scheme and placing everything. Like I loved every step of the design process to make the fit like this physical space. And I've been loving every step of the process to design the actual decor elements to it. Um, and so I want to show you guys some of the stuff that I've picked up because I know, I, I don't know, a lot of you guys say you like my style hopefully. Um, so in case anybody is decorating as well or just needs inspo, I want to share some of the things that I've picked up. I'm not gonna lie, a lot of it is anthropology. Like I pulled all this stuff out and I was like, yeah, you're going ham at anthropology. I will say almost nothing did I spend full price on. Moving right at the time of like Black Friday and then after Christmas sales has been a godsend because I have gotten almost everything on sale. Like I think probably the least sale I've gotten was 30% off and I got up to 50% off. I did well. So I'm really happy. We are like 99% of the way decorated, I would say. We just have that little bit ways to go. And the renovation is like 98, 99% done. We just have a few little things that need to get completed. I wanna say that we're going to be able to get the completed decorated tour up like end of February, early March earliest. So maybe the decor hall will give you like a little, a little taste. It'll t hold you over until we get to see the final, the final piece. None of this is furniture. All of it is just simply decor. Without further ado, I don't know where to get started. Let's start with something that isn't anthropology. Oh, and by the way, most of this I purchased myself. There were a few things that were like housewarming gifts from friends and family. I think maybe just one or two things that were gifted from a brand, but all of it basically I purchased myself. I wanna start with this. This is so fun. I brought this from Los Angeles. Um, there's a store on La Brea that I absolutely love. And this specific piece is by Care Design. I'm gonna try to link everything below if I can. This is an artist couple and all of their pieces are around um, like racism, the environment, diversity and inclusion. Like all of their pieces are representative of kind of like global issues in the world, um, which I love. I believe they're an interracial couple and they're just incredible. I love their pieces. And they're like, this piece at least was not too expensive. This is basically a dog man. It is black. He sits on one of my shelves and this represents my dogs. And then the other half to it is still in LA waiting to come. Um, I'll try to insert a picture if I can. And that's a white female bunny. So the head is a bunny and the body is a female. So they go together and I feel like it represents like my dogs and me. So I absolutely love this. And it has, both of them have this little like chain, this dog bone chain. Like I just think this is so cool. So I'm really obsessed with that. One thing I really wanted in this space was touches of animal everywhere. Like very subtle, chic, tasteful, not animal print, but like animals. So you will see that kind of scattered throughout the place. Most of it is dogs, bees, and bunnies. So this is a little bunny that I got at Anthropology, and it's actually a vase. So you put like one little flower in it, but it also looks just as cute without a flower in it. I've done both. And this is on the shelving unit in my bathroom. And it's really tactile and textured. Adorable. This was actually a really good price. And they had a couple of different animals. I think they had a mouse and an owl as well. And uh, I think it was about $16, so not bad. Not bad for anthropology, at least. I also highly recommend checking out places like Home Goods, Home Sense, TJ Maxx, Marshalls. Like, you can get some really good finds. I have a couple of pieces that I've been finding there that have been really great. Okay, this placemat and coaster set is absolutely incredible. When I found these on anthropology, I simply had to get them. 
These are not for everyday use. The coasters are, but these are, I keep them for like special occasions. Um, they are hand beaded. So these are not cheap because they are hand beaded and that's a lot of labor. So these were worth every penny in my opinion. They are so beautiful. They are not like anthropology. They're sold through anthropology, but they're um, an artist. I'll try to write the name on screen. It's on the tag, but of course I can't read that. It is Joanna Buchanan. Buchanan. There you have it. Um, and it is gold with a teal evil eye. And uh, I love the kind of symbolism. I love that it's an eye because, you know, I don't know if you know this, but I'm blind. And also the gold and kind of tealy blue is certainly a theme in my living room, dining room area. So it's perfect coloring. Okay, so I don't know if anybody else gets ad for Fable Living, but I get so many and I think their stuff is beautiful, but it's extremely expensive. I went into a store, I felt it. And it's beautiful, but I was like, I just, I want that look, but like not that price. And I found it. This is the Levi's set from Anthropology, And it's already very reasonably priced in my opinion for this style, but I also got it 30% off. So I got such a steal on this set. I got them in all the different colors. So I got the teal mug, which perfectly matches my couch. That was a very happy accident. I got the lavender, like dusty lavender cereal bowl. And I just love that it's very, honestly, I, I think they're nicer than Fable Living, to be honest, like straight honest. Very like imperfect kind of pottery feel. I just think they're so beautiful. I got the dusty pastel blue grain bowl. My dad was like, what on earth did you get that bowl? I thought it was gray, like gray. It, it's dusty blue. It's Oh, it's called dusty blue. Yeah. It is a blue shape. Okay. Um, if it looks gray, I don't know what to tell you, but it is It is technically, they call it blue. I don't know, I can't see it. But I love these because honestly, this if you're blind, this is the perfect plate for you. This is my most used piece um, because I can push my food around and it doesn't fall off the plate because it has these low kind of edges. So I'm absolutely obsessed with that for anything I would usually put on a plate. Um, and then I did get the kind of beige side plate and main plate and I think stacked together like on a serving and I think stacked together they just look so aesthetic and beautiful like I just am so pleased with these and I actually got eight of all of them because they get sold in sets of four or you can buy individuals but I bought two sets of four because my place seats eight or nine actually technically. Um, so that way if I ever have a dinner party, I have enough for everybody to be matching. Speaking of Fable Living, I hunted everywhere to get alternatives to their cutlery. I wanted gold cutlery that was dishwasher safe. And girl, that was a hunt and a half. I looked at so many different options, but ultimately Fable Living was was the one. It was honestly on par with the price of every other one that was dishwasher safe, but I actually liked the aesthetic the most. And my parents kindly got this for me as a housewarming gift. This is just an example. Have Robin pop up a little photo from the website, but I just, the cutlery just goes so perfectly with all the other gold accents throughout the space. It's so nice to eat with. Ugh, it is such nice quality. Like, I don't know, I do feel like with flatware, it's one of those things that you get your money's worth when you invest in the good pieces. And since we're talking about eating, this seems like the perfect time to thank the sponsor of today's video, HelloFresh. They just keep upping the ante, you guys. MollyBark21. You can use code MollyBark21 to get 21 free meals and free delivery. Their meals have high quality protein. It has seasonal vegetables, which I love. It's so great to eat seasonally because you're getting the most fresh, high quality of ingredients when you do it that way. If your New Year's resolution is to get better at cooking or, or learn new skills in the kitchen, it's perfect for you. If you're looking to change up your meals, if you're looking to budget, save some money, spend less time at the grocery store, eat healthier, HelloFresh is definitely a great option for you and I highly encourage you to check it out. In my order this week, we got some amazing like chicken with sweet potatoes. The meal was simple yet so delicious. We also got these incredible burgers with pear and goat cheese. Cannot recommend that enough. I feel like in every HelloFresh box we get, we learn at least one new thing that we move forward into future recipes. We also keep the recipe cards of the ones we like the most and we make our own little like HelloFresh cookbook. Pear on a burger. 
Could not recommend it enough. You wouldn't think beef and pear go together. Every bite was a treat. Molly Burke, 21, for 21 free meals, free delivery. Get those New Year's resolutions going. Speaking of New Year's resolutions, I am doing dry January, as I know many people are. So let's talk about my bar cart. I've been wanting to like get into having a really aesthetic, beautiful bar cart for quite a while now, and I'm finally doing it. I have this beautiful bar cart that I've had for years, and I've loved it. I've used it for so many different things, but now I'm actually using it as a proper bar cart. Um, so I got these glasses and they're really cool because they're four different cocktail glasses in a set but they all have a different textured pattern so this one has like big matte polka dots another one has like little uniformed polka dots one has stripes and the other has a different kind of stripe so everybody at the party can remember which glass was theirs love this and i actually have these cocktail straws reusable copper cocktail straws that were gifted to me from my brother's fiance. I mean, my brother's fiance and him, but you know, my brother's fiance, but yeah, she picked it for sure. And then to go with that, I have a little gold like cocktail shaker and something I'm so excited about that I literally picked up yesterday. Home bar. It, the color scheme of this book goes perfectly in my space. It has like the tealy blue color, gold. What else, mom? Uh, the kind of uh, peachy color of the the background here. Yeah, um, it's just yeah, like, it's just... it fit perfectly. And it has all of these different recipes for different cocktails you can make at home. I feel like this will be really fun when I have little dinner parties and stuff. Like maybe I'll do a different specialty cocktail for each party I have, something like that. I really wanna do a housewarming party soon. I had my first little mini get together at New Year's. So yeah, just really excited to have this and it looks great on the bar cart. Now, for glasses, one of my Patreons, Melissa, kindly gifted this to me like a year and a half ago. Um, from Tealish, which is a specialty tea company based out of Toronto. And they are these gorgeous textural bubble glasses. And she gifted two of them to me, but I really want to get six more, so I have eight. But I can't find them on the Tealish website. So if anybody knows of where to get these textural bubble glasses, to me, they definitely have an anthropology vibe, but they don't have them in anthropology. So if anybody knows, because I just, I'm obsessed, but I cannot find them. So I need six more. Now, what do you need at any good party? Music. I wanted to have a great sound system in my place because music. Like we all, we need a good sound system. I'm very picky about how things sound. Shocking, I know, but it's, you know, I use my ears a lot for everything. So I'm kind of picky about it. I've been using Bose since I was like 14. I think I got my first set of Bose headphones. So I got everything Bose. This is the portable speaker. So I bring this out to my vibe space. I bring this into the bathroom when I'm having a bath. And then I also have speakers set up throughout the space in the kitchen, the guest room, my bedroom. And then I have the sound bar in my living room. I'm actually starting to work with Bose, which was like the craziest dream come true. Years ago when my manager was like, send me your dream brands. I sent him Bose. They were like my only audio brand on the list. So more to come. This was gifted to me from Sage. They let me pick and I selected this item. It is a white light with stars cut out. It's limited edition for the holidays. And I don't know why, like they should have this all year round. Amazing. You can put essential oils in it, but I have an actual diffuser, so I don't do that. I simply use this as a light. It's beside my bed. I feel like it goes perfectly with the theme of like the clouds behind the bed and then the stars and the fluffy lights. Like it's just dreamy, truly. So at night, this is like the last light that I have on. And it's actually a touch sensitive light. So it has three different levels and you just touch it and it changes. I'm obsessed. Okay, in this video that I posted recently, everybody was like freaking out about the aesthetic. I'm so glad you appreciated it because you know me, I love a good aesthetic moment. And I'm also like a blush pink, rose gold girly, like I just have always been. So I think you guys are gonna like this. Oh, oh, heaven. oh my God. <laughs> Put me to sleep right now. This thing is the most luxurious. Oof, my hair is probably a hot mess. <laughs> I was like, why did you do that? <laughs> it's all for the bit, Neve. It's all for the bit. It is the softest, I, softest, softest. I've had many a faux fur blanket in my day. Many. This one from Anthropology is elite. Are they beautiful colors? They have so many nice colors. Like when I tell you I want all of them. <laughs> Honey was lovely too. Oh, the honey was beautiful. Maybe that would look nice on the couch. I, I just looked at the couch, it's not the same. 
<laughs> I like where could we put that? It's just like you can't get enough of these. They're so good. Oh my god, I have to show you the weighted blanket I got. When I tell you, my mom was like, why do you want that? <laughs> she like it was a, a weighted blanket hater until this one. Then she was like, she keeps stealing it. Mm -hmm. She keeps stealing it. I love it. The best night sleep through with that. So it comes in three different colors. Obviously, I got the pink. Nobody is surprised. It also comes in blue and red, I think. What I love is the cover. Honestly, I could live without this side. I wish it was just the faux fur pink on both sides. But it's still the most aesthetic weighted blanket I've found. So I'm happy with it. And you can unzip this and wash it. It's Heaven. spectacular. Yeah, I love it. this. Um, it's pretty 80? expensive. No. 180. Oh, 180. Yeah. Yeah. I can but, see why. I can see why. Yeah. But I got it on sale. Honestly, Anthropology should call me at this point. Like, my God, <laughs> this is ridiculous. Actually, Anthropology is another brand that was on my dream brands list. So if you want to, I'm here. And my entire apartment is decorated courtesy of you. Honestly, I always dreamed. Like when I moved out on my own for the first time at 18 to my apartment, I dreamed of owning a place decorated with Anthropologies. And I never thought it would happen. And I slowly started collecting items through the sale section. And it's like crazy that I actually have a place that's so much anthropology. I also got these, I got two of these velvet pink that go on my bed that you see behind me in videos when I film in there. And this is my newest addition. This was a gift from Shannon from Dwell Living. So if you like this, you can get this at Dwell Living. They also have a number of other ones with different faces on it. But obviously we had to get the one with the bee on the nose. Shannon gave this to me as a Christmas gift, which was so sweet of her. Like she absolutely didn't have to do that. Is it black, white, and gray? Yes, cream. Slight bit of gray and cream. I would say overarching is black and cream. I love it. I just think it's so unique. Since we're on the pillow theme, let's just go with these ones. I got two of these. These were also through Anthropology, but they're by like Rifle Paper Co. And they're beautiful quality. They have these embroidered dogs with glasses. Can you believe? Spectacular. I love them. They're really nice. They have dog hair on them. Such is my life. You can like unzip. Really nice quality. Like just like really special. I beautiful inside. So like feathery, I think down. I don't know what they are, but they're fantastic. So nice. And this is the pillow that I sleep on. These I got like 60% off, I think. I ended up getting two for the less than the price of one. It is the Fairmont Hotel pillow. So it's like a mushy gel. I'm pretty picky about the pillows that I sleep on. I really like these. They're different than anything I usually, I usually sleep on memory foam. So this is pretty different for me, but I actually do really like it and I find it very comfortable. Okay, I totally forgot to show this in the plate section. It's a gold and white B plate. This was also a gift from Shannon. She's like me. I think her gift, her love, love language is gift giving. Like we're just gifty people. And it is like gold honeycomb, a gold B, and then the whole back of the plate is gold. This, like the other ones from Anthropology are my everyday. And then these are my like fancy, it's like my version of good china. Like they're just perfection. And I also have the big plate. So I have four of the little ones and four of the big ones. Another really cool thing that Shannon found for me is this. This was for like a housewarming, I guess. <laughs> also, she's too nice. Um, this is the Everlasting Candle. So basically you just light these and the oil gets pulled through these, are they gold? Yes. Gold colored sticks. So you just refill this um, time and time again. Your candle never burns out. There is no scent. Um, so it's also great for somebody if you're scent sensitive with candles. These are available through Dwell Living if you're interested. All right, books, the most useless thing for me, but they're aesthetic, what can I say? Um, so I got these three books along with the bar one yesterday at Anthropology when I was doing the shelving unit, you'll see in the B-roll. I was doing the, decorating the shelving unit in my kitchen. So I got this one. Boards and spreads. I'm a millennial, we're into the charcuterie, okay? They had these cheese cards, they were really cute. And this one is Paris. Recipes and stories from the most romantic city in the world. My brother's fiance, soon to be wife, is from the Paris area, now the south of France. And um, they're getting married in the south of France this year, so it's kind of nice to have like a touch of kind of them in the kitchen. Also Emily in Paris. Also a big fan of Emily in Paris. Iconic. The shared kitchen. The shared kitchen. They just aesthetically went. There's no, there's no story behind that one. So these are stacked up there on the shelving unit along with 
these water jugs i love this because a lot of the stuff i got for the shelving unit is actually useful like i will absolutely use these put a little lemon in these and some water when i have a dinner party um this color goes perfectly with my tambour walls and it's metal too which i like because like i can't break it and it's pretty lightweight so when you do fill it with water it doesn't get super heavy um so i have this one up there along with the light gray one which goes with a lot of the millwork that i have so color scheme wise these are so good and the shapes are super cute anthropology who guessed it i also got this incredible textured cream and like burnt orange warm brown uh fruit bowl that goes on the shelf and i just love this oh it's perfection and this vase can you even oh my lord it is perfection it is a cream textured vase with a dog and a cat crawling up the top of it like <laughs> it's so cute this is what i'm talking about subtle animal look at this cat bowl situation <laughs> elton john just pumped <laughs> he's very interested in this so the their bowls aren't in it right now because we took them out so she can still access her food and water but this is lavender's food and water dish and you can pick it up by the cat's tail this is an italian artist i believe who makes these she has other ones as well but this is the one we got is it black it's black and then the face is cream with a little pink nose oh, like it's spectacular so the food and water bowls go in here and like i just could not love this more i could not love this more this throw blanket is really fun because it's really textural with all of these balls on it i don't know how to explain it but it's just this nice like is it beige or cream 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 knit blanket i fell in love with the texture of it and this is out in my vibe space so you can like cuddle up out there in the chairs and it's so cozy uh and this was a lot of their like designer collaboration with anthropology they do a lot of limited edition designer drops so you have to like yeah. when i say designer i don't mean like louis vuitton i mean like home decor designers so you kind of have to like scoop it if you find it just like everything else at anthro i did get this other their black friday sales really good so next year just so you know they do really good black friday sales see i got this and basically at this point I almost have everything. I need a few more items for a couple shelves that I have that are just empty. And I need my artwork and that's pretty much it. Other than that, I am done. Uh, I did reuse like some things that I already had, just so you know, um, but I wasn't gonna show you that because like I already had them, they weren't new for this. And if you're wondering why I needed all new dishes, it's because the existing dishes I had went to my place in LA. So they're still being used. But now that I had two places, I needed two separate sets. So for my banquette, I also got these three really nice textural mustard yellow cushions. I got these through Dwell Living as well. And I love these. They are so perfect. I love all the jewel tones mixed with the pastels, little pops of color throughout the space. Um, I really want to go with a pretty neutral base for the home. That way I can easily play around with color in my decor, furniture, and art. And that's easier to change out in a couple of years if I wanted a change than actually like redoing the bones of the space. This is from the Dwell Living team. You can get these through Dwell Living, I believe, yeah. or directly through this company. I cannot remember the name. It's written on screen and I'll link these down below. These are everlasting flowers. So they last up to a year. They smell incredible. I'm actually switching this out for a creamy white one because I just think aesthetically it'll go better with my space. But they actually have a discount code for you. I believe it's Molly20 to get 20% off. They are a small business, a brand new business. I believe they ship all over North America. It's a husband and wife team and I've met them. They're really sweet. So definitely if you're interested in something like this, check that out. And since I'm going to start baking and cooking, I needed a few things for that. So I got this pastel blue smeg. I don't It's a multi-use thing. So you have an attachment for... Cream. Like whipping. Yep. Um, an attachment for... Potatoes, mashed potatoes. Doing mashed maybe? potatoes. And it came with a bunch of other ones. But I actually managed to find smeg appliances 50% off, which is unheard of. Uh, the store is like no longer carrying smeg. So I got such a steal on this as well as my coffee machine, um, which makes like lattes, cappuccinos, espresso shots, um, Americanos, uh, hot chocolate. And unfortunately I couldn't get cream, which would match the other smeg appliances that I've had for a long time, but I got the black one. And then this doesn't matter that it was blue because it goes like underneath, it doesn't sit on the counter. Um, but yeah, obsessed.
Elton John's gonna be extra interested in this. This is his kibble bin. I got this at HomeSense. We got like dog bowls, a dog mat, because the food is actually like out in the open, you'll see the setup in the B-roll. I wanted it to look presentable. And so we got this big white and silver adorable dog food storage container. Um, and we also got the, the bowls and the mats all at HomeSense. They have really good dog stuff. I got like some cute pink towels from there for the bathroom. Oh, and speaking of the bathroom, I'm not gonna hold it up, but you'll see it in the B-roll. Shannon and the team at Dwell Living sourced these amazing toilet paper roll holders. I believe they actually sourced them from Anthropology, funny yes. enough. And the ones in my bathroom, the the hook for the towel that I, the pink one that I got at HomeSense, and the the toilet paper holder are bees. They they really heard me say bee details, and they went for it. All right, I think that's about enough. I showed you guys so much stuff. I hope you guys love it all. I'm obsessed, I'm super grateful. I got all of this over the past like two, two and a half months. I started buying some things a little before I moved in to prep for the space and I'm so happy with how it's all turning out. I, like I said, highly recommend shopping during Black Friday and the after Christmas sales because as I said, I did not pay full price for basically any of this. And I feel very lucky for that. I saved thousands of dollars by shopping the sales. I cannot wait for you guys to see this whole space once it's pulled together and I'm able to do the completed tour. Just a few more months, you'll have to wait till I get it completed. I might not have the artwork by then, but artwork is really tricky. I want to nail it. I want to get it right. Artwork can be expensive and I've already spent a lot putting this space together. So I might just save up for a little bit and I, I'll probably just do the tour without the artwork. The easiest option. That way you don't have to wait like a year till I source the right art for the space that feels meaningful and represents me and you know so I want to support local artists I want to support independent artists for the space so that's kind of the plan but yeah that's that I've talked enough thank you again to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video use code mollywork21 to get 21 free meals and free delivery and until next time you can click over here to see that recent video I made about my bonding experience with my new guy Doug Elton John or you can click over here to see I don't know another video of mine. <laughs> okay.